guys i really haven't spoke to you guys since before thanksgiving i hope you all had an amazing thanksgiving with your family if you don't celebrate thanksgiving and then i hope you had a couple days off because i know a lot of people have a couple days off and so i hope you enjoyed your little vacation right now i am eating my breakfast well i'm about to have my breakfast i've been eating this for the past couple days i showed this in my last what i ate in a day for breakfast and it's so good i have my sourdough bread a hash brown the hash browns from trader joe's are my absolute favorite two sunny side up eggs and with some spinach tomatoes serrano pepper um and then i use chili powder salt it's just tastes so good so if you want to know how i made this go um look at the video i'll put it up here but it's so so good i've been eating this literally non-stop and then 30 minutes after i have this i'm gonna go to the gym today we're gonna do a glute focused workout i'm gonna show you guys a workout that i've been doing um that really helps to grow your glutes of course we still need to eat to grow your glutes but these workouts if you stay consistent and you do these your glutes will be nice and round and lifted um but yeah we're gonna be eating this right now and then i also want to get back on juicing i haven't juiced in a really long time i used to do it a lot um you know around the holidays we eat really really bad so alan the other day was like you haven't made any celery juice and i was like you're right so i'm gonna get back on it today i'm gonna make some celery juice and carrot juice i'm gonna show you everything i put in my juice i put my juice in glass bottles i get them on amazon i'll link them in the description box down below but they're one of my favorite glass bottles to have whenever i'm doing um juices for now i'm gonna go ahead and eat this breakfast that way i can let my food go down and then we'll go to the gym if you're alan he's talking to a client but right now i'm about to get ready for the gym and i think i'm gonna wear these leggings these are the buff bunny um leggings i will see if i can find them on her website but these are so comfortable when i have them on it feels like i don't have pants on because of how light weight they are and they're really thin but they're not see-through i don't think they're um sweat proof but i don't mind that like that doesn't bother me as long as my leggings aren't see-through i'm fine they're like a really nice um lavender color and then i still haven't chosen what top i'm gonna wear I'm still looking for those. Let me see. Ali and I are currently looking for a new dresser, so ignore this one. It's not cute. It's from Ikea. It used to be uh, like a oak color. I don't know. It was like this color, but we painted it blue. And I honestly don't know why we painted it royal blue. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. It wasn't royal blue. It was more darker than royal blue. But yeah, then we ended up painting it white. And it just, yeah, no. It, and plus, I don't know. I, the quality of the ikea drawers they don't last that long we've had this one for a really long time so it's pretty old i'm trying to find a different way to have my gym clothes organized because this drawer is so heavy that the bottom is starting to like go down because of how heavy and how much stuff i have in here and then this is where i have my shorts and leggings and then this is where i have like the long sleeve the crop tops and like bras uh, all this, all of that in here. So yeah, trying to figure out how I want to organize this. I'm still thinking about it because it's just it's it's too much for these drawers. Anyways, let me find a top. I changed my mind. I kept the gray long sleeve AYBL top, but I changed my leggings. I just wasn't feeling the lavender ones. I really like these. These are from Bowen T, but they're cute blue gray leggings and they have like a zebra print and yeah, they have like a cute little zebra print so let's go to the gym now beginning our glute focus workout i never leave bulgarian split squats out these are a must on glute days and i do four sets of 12 you can work your way up if you're a beginner you can do three sets of 12 or three sets of 15 and right now i have 15 pounds and then i later get 20 pounds next up we have elevated reverse lunges these target the glutes insanely like these especially when you do them right after the bulgarians but in the beginning i was showing how you're not supposed to do it you're not supposed to go really fast you want to go slow and controlled um because you'll feel it a lot more that way on this workout i'm using 20 pounds and you can use whatever weight you're comfortable with Another must glute workout are glute bridges. You can also do hip thrusts, but I prefer glute bridges. And you don't want your feet too far out because if they are, then you're working out your hamstrings. So you want to make sure they're close and not too far out. And you want to go slow and control. Also, you don't need to go all the way down. You go about a quarter of the range of a hip thrust. And you always want to hold at the very top for a couple seconds. Now moving on to sumo squats. Now you want to make sure your feet 
are wider than shoulder width and you don't want to go all the way up that way you keep the tension on your legs and glutes step ups i love step ups for glutes and you always want to drive through working heel to step up and sit hip back if you need help balancing yourself you can hold on to something just like you see me doing and when going down you want to make sure you go down really slow now on to our last glute workout we're doing glute hyperextensions and you want to make sure your feet are pointing out and you want to round your back if you feel it on your lower back you're doing it wrong you should feel it on your glutes i always end my workout with some cardio i'm on the bike i usually do 30 minutes but today i did 20 minutes as you can see this workout is a must because look how pumped my glutes are i burned 583 calories total you 650. wow we did good found it <laughs> Back home, I've an amazing glute workout, a glute focused workout. If you've been looking for a glute focused workout, this one is the one to try. I usually do four sets of 15 reps, but if you're a beginner, you can do three sets of 12 and then work your way up. But definitely try this workout and you will notice results within a month if you stay consistent. Um, but definitely try it. It's one of my favorites. It's a glute workout that I do every single week. I usually work out my lower body three times a week. Three lower body workouts is good for me and I do rest in between. I don't do lower body back to back because you do want to give your lower body some rest um, especially when you're really sore yes i do it every single week and i usually get questions on what's my lower body workout and this one is my glute focused workout if you want my lower body workout working out like hamstrings and glutes and all that then i will link the video in the description box down below or i'll put it right here but today we just did a glute focused workout so try it out right now do you hear that thunder I love the way it looks outside it's just like super gloomy and it's raining um but yeah i'm about to make some lunch right now i'm having some salmon wild salmon for lunch i already have some rice cooking i have half a cup of jasmine rice cooking and i also put some broccoli to boil i'm not gonna over boil it because usually when you overcook broccoli you're taking off most of the benefits broccoli has i read that somewhere i'm not boiling it too much just halfway through and then I'm going to go ahead and cut my salmon into cubes and we're gonna season it and then throw it into the air fryer. Here we have my wild salmon cut into cubes. Now I'm going to season it with some Cajun seasoning. This already has salt, so I'm not gonna add any salt, just Cajun, a generous amount. And I have my cubes placed in my air fryer. Again, I'm gonna put it on 390 for nine minutes. So meanwhile my salmon is cooking i'm gonna go ahead and do a dressing that i like to glaze on my salmon at the very end we're gonna be mixing sriracha i have light mayo and i don't have any sweet chili sauce if you have that use that but if you don't have sweet chili sauce like me you can just use honey and i'm just gonna do about a tablespoon of mayo about a tablespoon of sriracha maybe a little more and then a tablespoon of honey nice sweet spicy dressing and then the mayo just balances out the sweet and spicy together definitely perfect for salmon salmon bites are done only took nine minutes there's about 31 grams of protein here have my water and this is how it looks it looks so good i haven't had salmon in a while just because i like salmon alan doesn't he likes a lot of chicken and what else you like chicken ground turkey Steaks, steak like ribeye like yeah we'll get like ribeye sometimes or um filet mignon but today i'm gonna enjoy my salmon because i really do enjoy eating this it smells so good Alan just finished eating. He had um, chicken and vegetables, but his lunch was already prepped. And mine, I just, I didn't want chicken, so I decided to just cook my salmon after the gym. 
Okay, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish my lunch and watch Gilmore Girls because I love that show. Alan thinks I'm crazy for rewatching the whole season, but it's my comfort show, just like Friends in the Office. My hair is so frizzy from how much I sweat when I was on the Peloton bike, but it was a good workout, so that's all that matters. Tonight is hair wash day, so I don't mind it being crazy. So right now, I just pulled out all of the fruit I'm gonna be using for my juices. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse these. Sometimes I'll peel them, but I'm not gonna peel them. I'm just gonna wash them really good, and I am gonna cut off the tips on both ends, and then I have some celery already washed and cut like I did the other day. So we have about three big bulks of celery right here. We also have some cucumber, lemon, apples, red and green, and then we have some oranges. Of course, can't forget the ginger. But yeah, we're gonna be making our carrots and celery juice. So these glass bottles you can get on Amazon. I'm gonna link them in the description box down below. But they're just these cylinder glass bottles. Love these for juicing. And then they come with these tops. and vegetables are washed and cleaned ready to go this is the juicer that I have this is the revealed juice fountain carrot juices and I also made four celery I wouldn't recommend making a lot of juice all at once I would say max four juices for four days right now I made eight because it's for me and Alan after the fourth day this juice the fresh juice will start to taste a little weird so max four days these are detoxing juices they will have your skin glowing they will help with bloating and all this other benefits that I will have right here the benefits for carrot juice i will put it right here the benefits for celery juice i will put it right here but so many so many benefits that these juices have i hope you guys enjoyed my glute focused workout we did earlier if you haven't tried it try it it's one of my favorite workouts again i do it every single week if you stay consistent your glutes will be nice and round and big um but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did this video thumbs up i'm also thinking about doing vlogmas we'll see but yeah this is all for today's video i will see you guys in the next one bye guys